Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer revisit. Okay. Another one of my favorite beers of all time. Hetty Topper by the Alchemist Vermont. Okay. This puppy comes in at 8% um, alcohol by volume. And it is considered one of the best beers of all time. And it is one of my favorite beers of all time. Let's put on the tweaker light here and um, check this puppy out. Okay. Um, it comes in once a year at Total Wine More, and um, I'm getting it for twenty bucks at four for four pints. So it's eight percent, yes. And um, this is a world class beer, like considered for real, like one of the best beers of all time. Okay. And I just wanted to kind of revisit this one and uh, point a couple of things out that I think actually enhances this beer okay there's a whole bunch of literature here um, yeah I'll let you read that I'll hold it up to the uh, camera there but anyways uh, yeah I've had this uh, several times before um, I can get it once a year at Total Wine and More and um, it's worth every penny, trust me. It's one of the greatest beers of all time. And it, it's not hype, okay? That's what the can looks like. I don't know if you can see that. Let me uh, try to get some light there on that. I don't know, not that way. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay. A little better, huh? There. Okay, that's what the can looks like. Okay, they, they says drink from the can all around the top, but from my experience, honestly, I, it's actually personal preference. You know, some people might like it more from the can. Some people, like myself, like it more from a, a frozen glass. And uh, also, when you pour this thing, um, one thing you want to watch is there's there is some goodies in the bottom sediment, and it will like stay to the top. So what I was doing was I was just taking the glass and I, I did an easy pour okay I did a soft pour okay and then when I got to the bottom of this I, I did that number you know agitated whatever was on the bottom and dumped it in and I noticed it was hanging around the top there okay so what I did is just did this number swirled it in the glass and whatever cloudiness was there kind of worked its way down okay and that's where I'm at with it right now so far, okay? This is an amazing beer. I have picked up three, three, four packs of it, and it's gone now. It only lasted a day and a half, and it's gone. And, um, and that'll be it for this beer until next year. So, um, okay, I'll give you a little gander at it real quick here, and we'll do some aroma and taste test, and we'll button it up, okay? This is just a revisit. It's not like an actual, like, first I reviewed this already before, and um, it's one of my favorite beers, okay? Um, I think it's a just, it's a New England style, okay? It's 100% family owned too, by the way, and the whole thing is run by solar. So it's really cool. I mean, there's some literature here if you want to read it. Go for it. It's a whole bunch of literature there, okay? I don't even know if you see that, but you can get the same literature on their website, okay? And that would be alchemistbeer.com. All right, so that's what the beer looks like. Looks really good. So you can see the cloudiness kind of spiraling down right there, okay? And that was from me, last train home, that was from me doing this. Maybe we can actually see it do it, okay? Hang on. So this is, I thought this is an important thing to enhance the beer, okay? You can kind of see it spiraling down. In the middle there and then all the sides it kind of starts going down more that's just whatever goodies are in the bottom so you want to get them good and mixed up in there okay on this beer you want to get it all mixed up real good get them goodies all the way down if you can okay the best you can all right so let's do an aroma on this puppy just like citrusy just the whole medley the whole medley of just juicy tropical like fruity notes mainly like um, uh, grapefruit and 
It's like a sharpness, grapefruit, orange, maybe a little pineapple or something, but it's just so complex. You know, stone fruit or something like that, like really like explosive uh, citrusiness, right? You know what I'm saying? It's super good, super good beer. I love this beer. And they have another one called Focal Banger that's just as good. It's a 7%er. You can see through it, though. I mean, it's not totally hazed out, so maybe it's just a juicy. I don't know. It's a hazy. Uh, let's get a hit, man. This is a, this, as good as it gets, man, in my book right here. Cheers. I just polished off one of these, so this will be my nightcap. I might as well just sneak preview. I'm two over. No, I'm one over. This will be my one over. This is it. Mm. This is why I love this beer so much. Okay. Just got that out of my system. All right. Now I'm done acting like an idiot. Um, like, look at the lacing on the glass. I'm jumping around. I'm excited. What can I say? This beer is awesome. Anyways, it's got a sharpness to it grapefruity like bite and just a bunch of other freaking like tropical fruity notes but it's got that grapefruit bite to it is really standing out oh my god and the malt back back backing it up sorry I gotta stop using my hands. Okay, I'm gonna sit on my hands. All right. It's awesome. It is really awesome. Look at the lacing. Just, just like Ed Bassmaster would say, just would you look at that? So, no booziness, no none of that cheap garbage. Um, this is world-class top shelf beer one of the best ever really like this one one of the best ever probably this is better though so with that it's got a medium almost heavy mouthfeel you can tell it's like all grain all the love mm. It's got a dankiness too, though, it, like a marijuana dankiness to it. Indica. Just, it's like not hop oil, like marijuana oil, but just taking like some super hydroponic straight OG indica and super hydroponic OG freaking hops and just teabagging this fucking thing, man. Like just getting it all wet and splashy. Just getting all them juices going. You get them plastic sheets out. No, just kidding. Cheers. It's the best. It's five stars and beyond the galaxy. That's my story. I'll stick with that. You know what to do. I'm out. Later. Drink from the glass. <laughs>